Hello guys and welcome to my fourth and final Python tutorial and today we'll be doing a global variable so that's always good and global variables are a very important part of um, coding that so you know what I'm teaching you is actually really important so let's start off uh, yeah, so we should note zero. So, so where do we want the key? It just depends on. Oh yeah, um, anything under that red line is stuff that I've done outside of stuff as promised. So I've done a lounge and I've done a kitchen. So, yeah. So how about if um, the key is for the lounge? So let's just make sure So if keys equals one, so if you've got one key, then it goes to the lounge. But if you haven't, Then it just sends you back to the hallway. Okay, so that should be fine. And so in the kitchen, we also need to put in the global keys as that's where we're going to pick up the key. So, global keys. Um, so, let's just do it. Now, this is going to be really simple. I mean, if you really wanted it, you could hide the key. So, like, you have to uncover something to actually get the key. But in this case, I'm just going to write elif. Prompt for pick up key keys equals one. Oh, I need to do it print on that. Don't ask why, it's just the syntax. Print um, prompt so hopefully that will work. So we're going to test this. Okay, I'm been um what's wrong there? Uh 
I personally don't know what's wrong, so if we just try that. Ooh. Ah, okay, let's just try. Yep, yep, okay. I know what's wrong. I forgot to do value error. La, 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 la. So I think this is basically like if there's something wrong with the global variable it just sends you back to the hallway anyway there we are type start to begin you're at end her house um east you need a key okay that's pretty good okay so west pick up Type a command east. There we are. So it starts off. You need a key, and so we picked up the key, and then we allowed in the lounge. So that's all very nice. So um, we can change the text. So um, you. Look the key so you are in a small lounge, there is an exit to the west and something else I noticed command is not spelt with a P and also um you have so hopefully that just clears things up a bit so let's just make sure that's still working fine okay start enter house Join the hallway east, okay you need a key west Gulp What's wrong with that? This is what happens when you try to code with a cold. Yep. You make a lot of mistakes. Woo. Okay, print. I think this mistake here is that I need to do the print you have picked up the key before I change the global variable. Woo. Okay, that should be it. Um, start. You are outside a nice looking house. What do you do? You enter the house. East, okay. West. There we are. Ah, so 
there we are that's all sorted and fine so that's it we've made a game very simple game I know but still a game so yeah I hope that this um, little series has taught you something about coding I mean it's not a lot you know it's only 185 lines I mean I can easily make text based games with over a thousand lines in it so you know this is really small but I mean you can make it bigger you can add a lot more rooms I mean this only has three rooms outside and start whatever but you can make it huge you can make up and down stairs just by changing the E to the U you know and W to D you know you can just you, you can do loads of that and that's why I wanted to show you as because it's just so easy to add to and you know it, it's simple to do and you learn a lot through it I mean building text based games was how I learned Python you know it, it wasn't through going through tutorials I just learned how to make a text based game and I made it and that's how I learned about definitions global variables printing on the screen just ev just all the basics and I've learned more and that's why I'm able to teach you now and I just really hope that you can go out there in the big wide world and actual do the um, coding needed to create the best games ever and Python is actual is getting up there with one of the biggest languages so I really recommend learning it don't learn C++ that's dying learn Python Python is the way of the world is moving towards Python and I don't mean the snake I mean Python the language so thank you very much if you have any questions um, message me on YouTube uh, stick them in the comments you know you you know how to contact me so just ask me any questions and I'll try with my best interest to answer them and if and if you want more videos like this then again just ask me you know I mean I only have one fan so you know I'll listen to my one fan because I like my one fan he's a fan of me so I like him and I'm a fan of him so simple as so like subscribe comment do whatever you want and hopefully I'll be happy and be able to fight off this cold so yeah, I'll say thank you.